We are here this morning, as has already been said, to draw attention and to speak out against the violence and the atrocities unfolding in the Holy Land. It is a land sacred to Muslims, Christians, and Jews. As a Christian, I'm standing shoulder to shoulder with my Muslim and Jewish sisters and brothers to condemn the injustice which is erupting in yet another cycle of bloodshed and suffering. Yesterday, President Biden said this about the current round of atrocities in the Holy Land. My expectation and hope is that this will be closing down sooner rather than later, but Israel has a right to defend itself. With this statement, President Biden captured the near unanimous consensus of the political class and the media in this country. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is intractable, too complex to solve. It is not. The root of Israeli-Palestinian conflict is simple. It's about justice. Each of the three religions to whom the Holy Land is sacred profess that each human life is endowed by God with infinite worth and untouchable dignity. That's why the Declaration of, the, of independence of the United States declares that every human being has certain inalienable rights, among them life, liberty, and the pursuit of justice, a uh, pursuit of happiness. The violation of any of these fundamental human rights against any human being must be called what it is, injustice, plain and simple. We must call it what it is, injustice, when human beings are denied the freedom to practice their religion as they wish. We must call it what it is, injustice, when human beings have their ancestral land confiscated. We must call it what it is, injustice, when human beings have to watch as their home is bulldozed. We have to call it what it is, injustice, when human beings are denied freedom of movement. We must call it what it is, injustice, when human beings are confined to an open air prison like in Gaza. We must call it what it is, injustice, when the life of children is snuffed out by bombs raining from the sky. Each of these we would call gross human rights violations and injustices here in the United States. Unless we are hypocrites, we must use the same moral standard for Israel and Palestine. The Israeli-Palestinian conflict is not intractable, not too complex to solve. It will be solved on the day when Israelis and Palestinians will both enjoy their inalienable rights, among them life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. May God speed the coming of that day.